All right, thank you. Welcome back. Thank you so much for staying with us. Of course, like you've seen there on the promo, uh, Citizen TV's coverage of uh, the inauguration is going to be from 6 p.m. Uh, so don't miss that inauguration of uh, Joseph Biden as the 46th president of the United States. Uh, like I told you early on, we have Frankie Just Jimmett. Uh, welcome. Thank you. It's good to see you. Thank you for having me. In this uh, other side of the year, 2021. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, it's very interesting and very timely. Actually, yesterday, we happened to be having a conversation around nutrition. Yeah. And even every time people talk about nutrition, and I've seen it even when you do your Q&As, yeah. um, there are so many misconceptions, theories and misconceptions yeah. out there as well. So yeah. I thought that even since you have the books here that you tell yeah. us about as well, yeah. you could help us try to you know, uh, demystify some of them. Yeah. And uh, the question of the day, if Joe uh, Ibrae can put it up for us there, uh, if you have, what are some of the nutrition advice you have heard mm -hmm. that you don't believe in? What are some of the nutrition advice you've heard that you do not believe in, you can SMS 22422. The hashtag to use is Daybreak, and you can tag at Citizen TV Kenya as well. And then uh, we are going to be able to join a brow to just come out as wake up to the gym. So, uh, mm -hmm. I guess, what a, for you personally, what a, why, why did you choose to write the book? So, you know, when Corona hit, mm -hmm. everyone ran away from the gyms. Yeah, yeah. So everyone was doing home training and yes, everything. Yes. But if you even look at social media, mm -hmm. everyone became a personal trainer. Mm -hmm. Everyone became a nutritionist. So yes. yes, the information was being put out there, but it wasn't the right information that was being put out there. Mm -hmm. So I saw there's definitely a gap in that market. Mm -hmm. Yes, people are spewing out information, mm -hmm. but are they getting the right stuff out there? Mm -hmm. So I decided, okay, let me make something that can actually help people mm -hmm. and is also very easy to implement. Is it, is it, is that part of the reason why there is so much uh, advice out there on nutrition because everybody wakes up and says, ah, that's the thing, like, I'm a trainer, I'm a nutritionist. <laughs> everyone has a platform. Yes. So everyone feels like they have an opinion. Yes. And yes. their opinion travels far. Mm -hmm. So people will be like, okay, I've been told A, B, C, D by my trainer, so mm. I'm coming to say it into social media. Mm -hmm. But it's like Chinese whispers. Mm -hmm. It might be said this way on this other side, but mm -hmm. by the time it reaches social media, <laughs> it's something, it's something like, ah, so ow. off. And then it's something different. Yes. What are some of the, one of the biggest, I guess, because uh, I, I think there's a time you had some Q&A, some questions, I guess. What are some of the biggest misconceptions you think people have like maybe top three um i would say one the one which i heard was you have to boil your food mm. you shouldn't have any fats or oils or yes anything. yes i've heard that as yeah well. yeah i mean your brain is literally 60 percent fat mm -hmm. so you require fat in your system mm -hmm. um another one meal timing mm. uh that's like you have to eat by seven Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, the guys always say, hey, have your last meal by last seven meal or eight. By seven. <laughs> yes, after that. After that, if you yeah. do that, you're going to get fat. Mm -hmm. If you eat after seven, you're going to get fat. Yeah. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Big misconception. Mm -hmm. uh, third one. Can't really remember a third one. What about, because uh, they're different. Uh, one of the most, uh, even like when I put out my journey and everything. Yeah. The advice that I was getting, everybody was talking about intermittent fasting. Yes. Keto. Yes. Uh, maybe you can break it down for us. What is intermittent fasting i mean intermittent fasting is something that i also practice as well okay but not for what people think it's for okay what so do people think it's for intermittent fasting people think it's it it's a miracle diet that helps you burn fat instantly mm. but that's not the case mm -hmm. uh what it does is it gives you a time period where you can go without eating mm -hmm. And then you, there's a small window where you can actually fit your meals. Mm -hmm. So 16 hours without eating, your sleep is included in that. Okay. And then eight hours is your window for, for eating. Mm -hmm. What it does for me, it helps me trick my body to thinking that I'm having a lot of calories. So if I go 16 hours without eating and I have an eight hour window to fit in, let's say if it's 2,000 or 3,000 calories, I will make sure each meal is like a thousand calories, a thousand calories, a thousand calories. So I'm eating a big portion of meal, mm -hmm. tricking my body to think that I actually have more calories, which I don't. Mm -hmm. But because I'm having it in a bigger portion, mm -hmm. it feels a lot. Eating a thousand calories and then six, 600 calories after that, 
you're tricking your body to feel like it's having a lot rather than having 200 calories in the morning 200 calories after mm -hmm. that 200 200 mm -hmm. that one you're teasing yourself mm -hmm. so that's what i use intermittent fasting for mm -hmm. yes there's health there's health benefits to that but the benefits that you're getting from that is so minimal mm -hmm. that it's not going to make a huge difference mm -hmm. the changes are literally the benefits are literally like probably 10 to 20 percent mm -hmm. but yes it does help so but it's yeah. it's not gonna transform yeah. your life like that when you say that uh, you have that eight hour window yes <laughs> does it mean you eat any and everything and that's another thing because <laughs> people think within that eight hour window yeah, yeah. you can eat as long as you're eating above your calories you're gonna add weight mm. you're gonna add weight because mm -hmm. it's all about calories in calories out mm -hmm. yeah so if you're not controlling your portions, if you're not controlling your calories, you're still going to add weight. Mm -hmm. So uh, another thing that maybe to help people understand, when you say a thousand calories, what yes. kind of meal that does, does that look like? Ooh, a thousand calories is a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't suggest that. It's a thousand calories. <laughs> it also depends on your, yeah, your, your, your body. Yeah, train and yes. so pretty much a thousand calories is not that much for me. Okay. Um, even my maintenance, mm -hmm. my maintenance calories is about 3,000 calories. Mm -hmm. Someone who doesn't have my lifestyle, an active lifestyle as I do, mm -hmm. they're probably on 1,800 or yeah. something less than that. Yeah. So it also depends on your activity levels. Mm -hmm. If you're someone who works at a desk the whole day, I wouldn't suggest you have all those calories. Mm -hmm. But if you're like a construction worker or someone who moves around a lot, mm -hmm. then yes, you need a lot of calories as well. Mm -hmm. Being active doesn't necessarily just mean active in the gym, in the gym yeah. it's your lifestyle. Okay. What type of work do you do? Yeah. Yes. That's so, like a, a receptionist versus, say, like you say, a construction, yeah, a construction worker. Construction worker. Or even the same office receptionist versus office messenger. Yeah. For example. Exactly. Yeah. Two, two totally different calorie needs. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And uh, so then there is also another one called keto. That keto. everyone's like, you have to do the keto diet, and, and yeah, and then that one, I think. But anyway, explain the first and I'll tell so you the things about it. So pretty much keto is just like using fat as your energy source. The same way we normally use carbohydrates as our energy source. Mm -hmm. So you're reducing your carbohydrates and you're increasing your fats. Mm -hmm. Your protein remains the same. Um, again, that depends on, on an individual. Mm -hmm. People can be satisfied by having a lot of fats within their... Because fat is usually one of the things which triggers your satisfactory hormone. Mm. So you feel satiated when you eat fats. Mm. That's why if you have a meal which is high in pro protein, but not necessarily high in fat, you always feel, you still want to eat something, you yeah. want that ice cream, you want, you want yeah. something sweet afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's what people usually say. Yeah. It's because they're looking for those fats. Your body oh. is looking for those, it's asking for those fats. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you want to feel satiated, you increase your fats, mm -hmm. but then you drop your carbohydrates. How do you increase your fats and not because we're always told fat is bad. Yes, okay, so you're increasing, you know, the good fats. Okay. So you're having more of avocados, nuts, olive oil, things like that. Um, so not, I guess, processed? No processed, no okay. processed fats. So processed would be the trans pizzas, fats. The, uh, yeah, yeah, those are trans fats. Actually, those are fats which have which have been created, and your body doesn't know how to break it down. Mm -hmm. You need those natural fats. Mm -hmm. So those are the best ones. Mm -hmm. And then from there, you're including obviously your vegetables and all that. For mm -hmm. the first, I think even a month or so, it, it's not going to be comfortable because mm -hmm. again, you're changing how your body's usually functioning. Mm -hmm. your, your body usually functions on carbohydrates mm -hmm. as an energy source mm -hmm. but then you're changing into something else mm -hmm. it's like just like putting you know okay i, I don't want to say diesel because if you say putting diesel in, in a, a petrol, petrol tank <laughs> that, that's totally destructive <laughs> yeah but it's you're changing what energy source is going into that yes, like electricity to solar exactly something like that yes yeah. there will be some yeah some adjustments, changes yeah. adjustments you need to go through first mm -hmm. and then you can now mm -hmm. transition into it but it doesn't work for everyone okay oh really and, and and that's that's what people need to understand yeah just because something works for you doesn't mean it'll work for me mm -hmm. It's it's all depends on like the way Eric said genetics. It mm -hmm. all depends on your genetics. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So depend. Yeah. So you have to kind of look at your family. See, say, are we big boned? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's bones are the same. <laughs> Everybody says I'm not fat. I'm big boned. <laughs> so uh, another thing, uh, 
when it comes to now the actual meals, you know, yes. there are people who there are different varieties. There are people who say egg without yolk. There yeah. are people who egg with the yolk, chicken without the skin. Why why those uh, for example those two examples? Yeah. What? Um first you have to pick out what your goal is. Okay. If your goal is to add size, add lean mass. Mm. I mean, you require more calories. So lean mass is like not building muscle. Building muscle. Yeah, okay. no, okay. not necessarily fat. Okay. Fat will come with it, but you're trying to minimize the amount of fat that's coming with it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so it depends on your goal. If you're looking to add lean mass, muscle, muscle weight, then you require those things. You mm -hmm. require fats. Mm -hmm. You require carbohydrates. You mm -hmm. require protein. Mm -hmm. So you can't necessarily say I'm going to remove the egg yolk from the egg. Mm -hmm. You require it. Um, if it comes to, if you're trying to lean down, again, do you know how much calories you require for you to hit those goals? Because mm. sometimes you can include those things. You can include the skin, you can include it. You can include the egg yolk. Mm. Maybe you're just reducing the quantity. Instead of having two or three egg yolks or whole eggs, you can have maybe two egg whites, one one yolk. Mm. So it's just like trying to manipulate and understanding what works you because mm -hmm. there's seven billion people in this world yeah and everybody's different everyone Kill different. Different. Kill thumbprint different yeah we have some <laughs> sms feedback um sorry let's take a look at them um hello nice to watch you kindly guide on nutrition of a pregnant woman that is uh winnie from meru county uh -huh. and then faith says one myth i've heard is that when you drink a gallon of water daily you lose weight another one is that eggs contribute to egg loss to weight loss well we'll ask frankly for Frankie here in just a bit uh viewer here says i was told not to eat in large quantities that if i am to gain weight i should eat in bits to gain mass for rugby since i'm not into supplements which is a whole other thing as well yeah uh, supplements yeah yeah so i guess we'll start with uh i guess the pregnancy one would probably be a little bit longer yeah. so we'll start with the person who said uh eggs contribute to weight loss eggs contribute to weight loss yeah um, no, not necessarily. Mm -hmm. what, what matters again, like I said, is it's about the quantity. So if you're eating 10 eggs, definitely that's not going to contribute to weight loss. But 10 eggs for you might be okay, I guess. I exactly. Mean. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Because it, there was a time where I was eating like six to seven wow. eggs mm -hmm. in a day. Um, so it depends. And what again. were you doing then? Or was it for I, I was working to, out? Mass. Yeah, I was, okay. I was, I was really big. I was okay. trying to get strength at that time ah. and size as well. Okay, okay. Um, so it just depends again on your goal. But mm -hmm. eggs, it's not, it's not necessarily what you eat; mm -hmm. it's how much you eat. Mm -hmm. That's what matters. Mm -hmm. yeah. What about water? Uh, there's also that thing that says if you, you know, drink water, water you, you lose, lose weight. Yeah. Of course, you lose weight because yeah. what happens is when you're drinking water. Um, Usually that first period, that, that one week or so, mm -hmm. if you're not used to drinking water, you go to the toilet a lot. Right. So you urinate a lot. Mm -hmm. So it actually, you're triggering senses into your in your body to release as much fluid because there's an influx of fluid mm -hmm. within your body. Mm -hmm. So you're triggering that reaction of release, release, release. Mm -hmm. So your body ends up actually releasing way more water than it requires. Mm -hmm. So yes, you lose weight, but what's your goal what weight are you looking to lose are you looking to lose fat are you looking to lose uh muscle are you looking to lose water weight because mm -hmm. that what you're losing at that point is water weight mm -hmm. you're not losing fat because if you go back into your normal routine, it comes back. it's just gonna come back right i mean if i chop off your arm right now you've lost weight mm -hmm. but <laughs> what, what, Don't do it. <laughs> what weight are you looking for right and right. we we as you know fitness professionals we are targeting fat to reduce as much fat as possible and maintain as much lean mass which is muscle as mm -hmm, possible mm -hmm. yeah what about somebody asked there uh the, the pregnancy is it is it different because working out and nutrition i guess it's because now there are two people involved yeah 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 how different is it? um funny enough it's not that different okay. during pregnancy and after pregnancy uh, of course you're not looking to go into um crazy low calorie deficit mm -hmm. um, I would suggest because I've trained a couple of pregnant uh, ladies I would suggest you bring your calories up to maintenance and then you work your way from there so your your goal right there is not to necessarily 
look sexy or um you know be shredded and have six pack abs of course that's not your goal at that mm. point mm. your your goal at that point is be as healthy as possible and also make delivery as easy as possible mm. so the nutrition is there to strengthen you and to 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 also develop the baby properly and then when you and the exercises are also geared towards you know pushing pelvic wall and yeah. strengthening all that and after that now you're working on so that you bounce back actually so that your bounce back is way easier mm. if you've already had that that journey beforehand mm -hmm. if you don't have that journey before the bounce back is way 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 it's going to take longer right, right. and you don't want that mm -hmm. you want to bounce back as soon as possible mm -hmm. so yeah and towards views there just in terms of explaining for the viewers when you say coming maintenance how do you know yeah. this is my like 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 caloric maintenance um the simplest way which is like okay it's not the most accurate but the okay. simplest way is to find your calories you do 16 times your body weight in pounds okay 16 so, yeah 16 okay. times your body weight in, in pounds. pounds okay not in kgs oh, in right. pounds and then that would be like what you need to go yes give or take Roughly. so what would be again just uh maybe a 600 because it's also different because people also have like say like if you drink uh juice yes uh, not not the freshly squeezed just juice a whole one liter uh -huh. You could get the, the <laughs> you could get the calories and then just add on food. So what would be a, a typical yes meal? Okay, so how the caloric breakdown y works? Yes, yes. So usually, okay, if you're gonna do that, the the 16 times your body weight, okay. right, in mm -hmm. pounds, mm -hmm. you split it between 40, 40, 20. Right? 20 being the last meal of the day. 20? No, no, no. So this is now. Carbs, ah, okay, okay, carbs, yeah, okay. protein, yes. fats. So forty uh, carbs, mm -hmm. forty protein, mm -hmm. and then the twenty fats. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you split it that way. That's for a good weight loss ratio. All right. Yeah. And so if you don't have like a measuring, most people say ugali equals size m corner. Yes. So, so now, yeah. okay, if if you're just looking to eyeball it, um, you'd want it on your plate. Majority of your plate should be. Um, vegetables. Okay. Majority of your plate should be vegetables. You say a fist, a fist would be your um, not necessarily your carbohydrates, but your protein, and then your carbohydrates would be your palm, mm -hmm. and then your fats would be your thumb. Mm -hmm. And that's so straightforward. What's that? So let's get bra. I'm at the end of my ugali. At least I'm going to like the ugali is in the evening. Oh, is in the evening. <laughs> Good job. It's very important. We have three more SMSs before we jump into the book. Yes. Uh, three more SMSs. Uh, we have a viewer who says, what do you suggest on supplements to gain mass? Mm. And how can I lose my belly? That's the most common question. Oh, yes. Nancy says, uh, she's diabetic. Her only diet is Gideri for breakfast, Kumawiki with Ugali for lunch and supper. Please advise. So what's the whole... Oh, sorry, Pole, Pole. And Abdi from Moyale says, my weight is worrying me 88 kgs and I'm just 29. What can I do to shed... Okay. Shed off the weight. And then another one. How can one become a certified trainer or a nutritionist? Are there online courses? Uh, that's it? Mm. All right, cool. So uh, su the whole supplements... To, uh, Story. What, what is your take on it? Supplements is exactly that. It's there to supplement mm. your nutrition. Institute. Yes. Okay. People use it as something to replace like a normal meal, but you shouldn't do that. You should be having it as, uh, okay, I can't fit in this meal. I'm going to, I can fit in this meal, but I don't have enough protein for this meal. Okay, I'm going to have a protein shake. Mm. So it's, it's there to help you and aid you within your nutrition, mm -hmm. not necessarily to replace, mm -hmm. yes. And I know, I mean, I don't know if you can fully answer the how do I lose my belly? Uh, hey, <laughs> that, that question, I've heard it all <laughs> juice since when. Yeah, yeah, everybody wants to lose. I, yeah. heck, heck, I want to lose my belly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so with, with uh, weight loss, it happens holistically. It's everywhere. You right? can't like you can just spot reduce yeah. and say, this is the only place I want to work on. Let me focus on that. You'll do sit-ups all day and nothing will change. Mm -hmm. So fix your diet. That's number one. Okay. And then number two, be very consistent 
with your training. Right. Be very consistent with your training. Okay. Yeah. That's okay. the, and and remain active. Mm -hmm. Remain active throughout your day. So if you're that person who works in an office, sit it down the whole day. Next time you go to that office, walk there, or take the stairs. You know. So just try create a very active lifestyle. Mm. All right. Uh, and maybe finally, you can tell us a little bit about the two books. What's the difference? Yes. So these two books are, I've. It's something I've been working on for a while, but then Corona is what <laughs> Ilini Skuma. Yes, yes. So we have two books here. This one is Extra Smoothie. This one deals with, it just has 10 of the best and tastiest, healthiest smoothies. The recipes, the ingredients on how to create your own mm -hmm. healthy green smoothie from home mm -hmm. with uh, ingredients which are readily available. Mm -hmm. And then, we have cultivating a healthy nation. Mm -hmm. So with this one, it's it's something that I've tried on a lot of my clients. Okay. Obviously, I had to use some guinea pigs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but this one deals with weight loss. Okay. Maj uh, majority of it is about weight loss. So okay. it has weekly workouts, and it has month. It has daily, daily meal plan. So for thirty days wow. each day these meal plans catered for that. Mm -hmm. So, and it has instructions and how to do the workouts and everything. So mm -hmm. it's very detailed. Um, and I know this definitely will help someone out yeah. when it comes to weight loss and all that. Mm -hmm. So this one goes for 499, the extra smoothie. And this other one goes for 999. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how, how, where can get, they get them? So uh, if you reach out to us, uh, just email, you can email uh, just jimit254 at gmail.com or you can contact me directly on on Instagram which is Frankie underscore just jimit mm -hmm. or just jimit mm -hmm. those are our handles all right yeah well I'd like to say thank you so much the questions are endless and we'll do there's still some more but probably we have to do <laughs> some more time you, you can reach out to Frankie yes please do later on uh, you know get all the questions we haven't even covered I've seen questions on macros and micros and all of this stuff but you know uh, well because all of you guys started 2020 with a new year's resolution We'll have Frankie here again. And at yes. that time, <laughs> I want to see transformations. <laughs> at that time, we'll, we'll see. Uh, I'm sure we'll still have questions, uh, and questions abound about fitness. Whatever you do, please talk to a professional uh, when it comes to uh, losing weight. Don't, well, you can. You know, in wrestling, they say don't try this at home. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you could, but if you want to do it the right way, it's better if you. You know, invest Kidogo and get a professional like this idea. Yeah. And I was going to be good. Like I said, Frankie underscore just Jimmy to get the two books. And Lexi, thank you so much for making time for us. Thank you for well. having me. Yeah, yeah. We're going to have you more and more and more as long as these questions keep on coming up. And I'm sure they will. So stay safe, eat clean, and uh, be like me. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight, by the way, Manchester United play. Kuna muta naito Stivo, ananiombe mabaya. Team hapa ananiombe mabaya. Wale wa Chelsea kina mwashi, wanani yame, obea mabaya, kina Vincent Atea, Jamila, kila mtu John Kianda, eh, hata baba, kwa sababu Raela, anathopoto aseno. <laughs> <laughs> hata yana ni obea mabaya. Lakini mungu halali, there are some temporary occupants of the top of the table. Wait until we take it back. Peace and love. <laughs> <laughs>